Hello. What's up, guys? So, as you can tell, today I'm by myself. So, I'm all you get. All you get is me. Me. 
Um, I'm going to be learning a game I just bought today. So decided to go out to Barnes and Noble and saw this game. I was like, oh, hey, 20% off. Hey, Phantom. So, so yeah, I was like, wow, you know, I've been looking for this game for a while. So I said, why not? So I picked it up and figured today would be a good day to just stream it because I'm here by myself. You know, why not? Let's do it. Um, I saw this game played on a game night uh, way, way back. I don't even remember how long ago. But I instantly fell in love with it because of the art for one. It's very minimal art, but there's some art in here. Plus, you get these cool looking meeples that are all different for each character. It's really cool. Um, so I'm playing as in a two player setup. I'm gonna timer over this one again like I did the last time. Really? He's already here. He's already here. Look, he's here. Um yeah, look at that. Cool look well you can't see it, but I'll show you. So two player setup, pretty easy. Um I'm gonna be learning this game real time, so let's just get to the table. So here is a map. It's a this is part area control, sort of. Um so you see there are five different regions here. In a two player setup, we're gonna have neutral pawns here. Um and the map shows you how how many to put on there. Uh of course Innsmouth over here. I really, really love this map. It is so cool. So there's three there, there's one here, and two here. So there's one left over. All right, so these are the neutral pawns. This one here is going to be mine. So this is my score tracker. And this is the other hand score tracker. Pretty neat. Like I said, the, uh, the meeples are different. So this orange one is going to be different from the turquoise one. They're different investigators, so that's pretty neat. Um, we've got our own boards. Okay, this is where we're going to set our cards. So this is set collecting uh, area control-ish all in one. It, it's going to be good because I like these games. There's an insane, insane disc made out of wood. Pretty cool. This game is pretty good. Uh, like I said, I watched it on uh, a game night one time, and I was like, oh, this is cool. The, the cool mechanic are these cards here. Okay, these are the cards you use to um, open these gates. So you're going to collect these cards and overlap them in a circle and they're going to open a gate. And so they're, cor they're going to correspond to each region here. So when we open a gate, we're going to score for that region. So whoever has the most investigators in that region is going to score that region. So first place is going to be nine points, second six points, and third is going to be four points. Hey Anne, hello. How did your game go yesterday? I know I helped Karen get that game started, but I just I couldn't stay up. I was I was super tired. I was sleepy. Um there's going to be some some tokens we're going to be using to do extra actions. Um these are in our investigators that we're going to be using to place on the map itself. Um Okay, so we did the two player setup, so we're good. Um, these scroll cards up here are gonna change the game a bit. They're gonna add extra uh, scoring opportunities, which uh, that's good. Um, every time we open a gate, we're going to score for these monstrosities that come out. So that's one of them. Um, they all have a score down there, and some of them have these little scrolls at the bottom. 
right there. And some little scrolls, and those are going to unlock those scrolls on top. So this is a this is a really cool concept for this game. Um, so you're you're an investigator, and when you start the round, you have to choose whether to start the round sane or insane. And your sane mode is a different play type than the insane mode. Um, both offer scoring abilities, but in the book, the thematic way in the book is that you're losing control of of time. Um, consciousness and all that stuff so you, you don't know what you're doing in your insane mode which is you're helping create these portals bringing out these monstrosities and in your sane mode you're sending out people to these areas to investigate to find out what is going on so if you think thematically that's freaking crazy and really good um, I think that's what drew me to it too um, here's a gate supply, so if you can think of like Ticket to Ride sort of thing, we're going to be drawing from here to open our gates and stuff like that. Um, oh, we had fun. She won regular Flux because of my cards I played. Then I won Star Flux. Cool. I have not played that game, like I said, uh, that night. Um, I'll have to try it. Okay, so give each player... A journal got it score marker and ten investigators so one two three four five ten three six seven eight nine ten okay good we're good uh, I will I will be the star player uh, let's see well, I know we start with cards give each player journal ten investigator place score tokens next to score track that's what that is uh, so we get a starting hand of five cards and they are hidden cards so you do not share your hand information so play is going to be taken in a round so each round we're going to have the first player choosing whether to play insane or sane so that's going to be fun so on your turn, you must play two action cards. You have to play two cards from your hand. You have to. There's no may or whatever. You have to. Um, you got to play them one at a time. In addition, you may but are not required to spend desperation tokens, which are these, to do extra actions. So some of the extra actions... I wish this came with a player aid. But there's a couple of extra actions where you can wipe this or you can draw two more cards to discard two cards from your hand. And like it, um, five of these will give you three points. Um, we'll go through them when we use them. Because it's all in here. Yeah. So swap two action cards. This two desperation tokens refresh the gate supplies three you can flip the sanity disc for three points for three of these and for five you just score three points so not bad all right so everyone's going to play two cards during their turn um the cards have two sides to them there's a a sane side and an insane side the, the sane side is going to be a brighter whitish color the insane side is going to be a darker color of course um there's going to be some artifacts that we have to collect maps stuff like that that's going to score us points at the end of the game um there are some cards that allow you to play actions, so you're going to put more people on the map and take more tokens. Um, it's interesting because it's always different based on the cards you get and play. It is. That game, that's the only thing I've heard about that game, is it changes the rules and the way to play it all the time, no matter what you play out. My hand wants to be shared. It's idle and has a mind of its own. I know. But I'm trying my best to do it the way you do it, okay? So if I do it wrong, you yell at me. You make sure I know. 
So taking desperation actions is, you know, what, whenever. You can do that whenever. You can take as many as you can pay for. Um, so, yeah, I, mean, I will show the cards when I play them. Um, so, like I said, these gates are going to be coming out. And as soon as we open the gate, a monstrosity will come out and then we will score for that region. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start playing. So that way you guys can see how it's played and I can learn it as I'm going. So, I believe the hand limit is five. So I'm going to draw five for each player. That's two, three, four. You're right. Student becomes the master. Okay. So that's five for team orange. There's time uh, five for team turquoise. So I don't know what team you guys are on, but Either way, someone's going to win, someone's going to lose. Okay. So, let's check my hand out. Let's see what I got. Okay, so as you can see, two sides. Well, you know what? Let me turn this autofocus off because it's going to drive me crazy. How come nobody reminded me to do that? Oh, that's right, because I'm here by myself. All by myself. Don't get me started singing. All by myself. I'm going crazy. Don't don't unfollow, please. <laughs> okay. Oh, so um, I've got a whole bunch of cards. It's a good little mix of everything. So as you can see, there are there are some notes here. These are collectible. So you're going to score points for having these in numerical order. So this is 12 right here. So if I get like 11, 12, and 13, I think it's it scores more points based on if they're in numerical order. Um, this right here is an action card. It's got a investigator in the corner and it allows me to take two of the desperation tokens. Um, here's some maps. A complete map will score me 12 points at the end of the game. There are four sections, southwest, northeast, northwest, and southeast, something like that. Um, and for the insane side, these are artifacts. So set collecting. And these cards here have like a little portal symbol in the corner. They will allow you to choose a card from the display here or top deck it. Um, so for the portals, you can't have more than one of the same type of portal. So if I have a portal from Salem started, I can't start another one of the same type. I have to start a different color or different region um, per player so so there's no double Salem portals going on at the same time okay so I think for my first action what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck my lost page here so I'm collecting this and then I'm going to play this card which allows me to dispatch a an investigator so let's go ahead and go to Arkham um, and I will get two of these desperation tokens I forgot to put myself on the same side so these will go to the discard all right um, so that's it, you get two actions. And then at the end, you are going to draw up to, I believe it's up to five.
Yeah, I wish they really had a turn order card here. This rule book is really good, by the way. Um, it it does. It does teach you how to play um, from start to finish. However, there is no turn order card. So you kind of have to go through it, really read it, and then play it. Yeah, so during your turn, you're going to play action cards, take desperate actions if you want to, and then you're going to draw action cards. So at the end of your turn, after playing two action cards and taking any desperate actions that you wish to, draw two new cards from the top of the action deck and add them to your hand. So that's basically it. So I'm going to go ahead and draw two. Okay. All right, not bad. So that is Turquoise's turn. Let's see what this goes. Oh, wait, before we do that, we have to decide if we want to play insane or sane. Um, we'll go ahead and play sane still. So, wait, actually that's not the end of the round. So we're still playing sane. So they I have no choice but to play sane. So I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this lost page here. And I will also play this to send out a investigator. Um let's let's go to well. All right, since there are green cards out here, we might want he might want to go to green. And they will get a desperation token for that. Okay, and for the next action, we're going to play a map fragment. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That was two that was two actions. My fault. Now we're going to draw up to five. Okay. Now it is Orange's turn. They're going to check their hand again. Um. Yeah, it's still too early in the game to start insane. So we're going to go ahead and play sane. So they they're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and play a map fragment. If I can get it underneath this thing, it'd be great. Alright, come on. There you go. There's a map fragment there. And then they are going to send out another investigator. And get a desperation token. So they they want to keep on green because there's a lot of green out here. Okay, so that is it for that player's turn. So we're going to draw two more. Ooh, what is that? That's a new symbol. I'm gonna tell you, the art on these cards is just so good. So good. Okay, so my turquoise player here. Let's see what we got. We got some maps, we got some cards to put investigators out. Um, so my first action, I'm gonna Go ahead and play this, put a map fragment out. And I will go ahead and send two investigators out because it has a two 
on there. So, oh, I'm turquoise. So you do not have to send them to the same area. So let's go ahead and do this and this here. You can't really see that green guy there. So I'm going to end my turn by drawing two more cards. Okay, so the end of round two. This goes to blue. Blue is me. I'm going to choose this time to play insane. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. We're playing insane. Here's how this is going to play out. So these here on the right correspond to these. Same as the investigators on the other cards correspond to the investigators. So we're going to pull one of those cards here to create our portal. So this is the part of the game where you, as the investigator, don't know what you're doing. You black out. So you're losing your mind here. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. Yes, I'm losing this part here. So that's not good. But we have to start getting some points here. So that's one one portal. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to do this with the space limited here. Put this up here. Get these guys here. Put the discard right up here. So this is the start of my Arkham portal. That gets replaced. Okay. For my next action, I will go ahead and collect this ancient rune. So for the runes here, it tells you on the side. Uh, one rune is one point. So you're collecting sets here. So if you get up to five runes, it's 16 points. And if you get anything past five, you, you start a whole new set. So that is it for me. I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, I was supposed to get two of these tokens for that card. Um, can I do anything else? No, I don't want to. I'm going to go ahead and draw. Okay. Awesome. Orange player's turn. Still playing insane because that's what I chose for the round. So they are going to go ahead and start on these Salem gates here. So Orange is going to play a card to draw two gates. So they're going to draw the Salem and that gets replaced. And I'm going to draw the other Salem. So this is how this goes. There you go. We're starting a portal. Okay. That was one action. Um, well, this is a new one. What does this do? What does this do? This one right here. It's got um, arrows. I think it's swap conversion. Converting investigator. When you convert an investigator, remove one opposing investigator from any region on the map and return it to that opponent's supply. Then take one of your own investigators from your personal supply and place it in that region. Very cool. So I think Orange wants to do wants to play this. So they're gonna play this to convert. So what they're going to do is they're going to get rid of one of the neutral tokens 
to put their own. So Orange is in control of Salem right now. So they are winning Salem, which is good. Well, for Orange. And that's all they're going to do. So they're going to go ahead and draw two cards. Very cool. Uh, that was two actions, right? Yeah, that was. Now, this is going to go here. So, seeing that there is no green out here, I believe orange would like to go same for this round. What do it do? What do what do? What is it you refer to to the do? Are you talking about the portals here? Or the card that I just played? Because that, that's a conversion card. So you get to convert one of the other characters, uh, investigators, to your own. Which is pretty neat. That was like five minutes ago. Well, I mean, I, I have lost all track of time, honestly. So, Orange wants to play in the same mode here. Um, since they are winning in green, they will not worry about it. Um, since I have started in the purple Arkham, they are going to play this card. So that's going to put out an investigator and they're going to get a desperation token. So they are going to go ahead and start in Arkham. They're occupying Arkham. You deep in thought? Yeah, I know. I am. Well, I'm trying to learn this game too because I really, really like it. I've wanted it for so long. And I finally found it. And I was like, yay! Um, all right, what were the desperate actions again? I need, I need token count here. Refresh the gate supply. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend three desperation. Three to replenish this supply. So these are going to go to the bottom. I don't think these ever get shuffled, to be honest with you. One, looking good. Oh, wow, looking really good for you. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. So using desperate actions is not an action. It's a free action. So Orange right now is not worried about Salem. I think they've got Salem. So they're going to go ahead and start um, fixing their map here. Going to try to get their map set up here. So that was action two. They're going to draw two cards. Oh boy. We all know what he's going to do next. Here we go. Um, so I'm still playing as the same mode. I can switch to insane, but I don't want to do that. Um, I need to get a grip on this area here. Because I have a feeling that orange is going to open a portal here. So I want to get some points there. Um, okay, I got some pretty good cards here. But I have none to put out investigators. 
So, I think what I'm going to do is take a desperate action from the start. I'm going to use two tokens to draw two cards. And I have to discard two. So I'm going to go ahead and discard this one. And this one. Okay, so far so good. So that was, and that was not an action. For my first action, I'm going to play this lost page. So, so far I have an eight and a nine. So I'm doing well. And these pages actually have words written on them. So it's not just regular pages. They have a story set in them. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and play this, which will send out an investigator, and I will get a desperation token. So let's do that. Uh, let's go ahead and start getting some people in Salem here. And I'll go ahead and end my turn by drawing two. Okay, so oh, let me check my cards here. Safe bet. I know orange is going to play insane next turn. So I'm going to go ahead and play same because I need to get more people onto um, Salem there. So for my two actions, I should probably turn my cards over. Uh, oh no, I have another card that I don't need. I'm going to play a map. This map's going to go right up here. If I can get it in there. There we go. And then I'm going to put out an investigator. So the actions in this game are pretty quick. There's not much downtime in between unless you're like me and have to talk about what I'm doing. And I will end my turn and draw two. Okay. Ooh, that's a good card to have. All right, playing Sane. So now Orange has a chance to gain Gain majority in Salem, which which he will take. So he's gonna play this, which is gonna drop two investigators wherever he wants. So we're gonna go ahead and just pile them on here because we know we know he's gonna be attempting to open that gate soon. And I'm going to go ahead and play this to drop another investigator out into the world and get a desperation token. So when these run out, you can take one from another region and put it somewhere else. Um, we are limited to what we have. So you know what? We're going to go here. And that is the end of my turn. I don't have any other actions. Oh man, that's so good. Okay. All right, orange. We know what orange is gonna do. And play insane. So orange, the investigators black out into madness. And so we gotta play this way. All right, here we go. 
uh, orange will play this card to pull two portal cards. No, oh, oh no. Now, if you notice, the tops of these cards have numbers. That tells you how, how many cards it takes to make a portal. So right now, Salem is at four cards. And there are two more out here. So more than likely, we will get a portal opened up really soon. Okay, so second action for orange is they don't they don't feel too safe with me being in Salem. So they're going to play this right there. They're going to convert. They're going to take one of mine, put it back into my supply to replace it with one of theirs. Oh, orange. And that's all orange is going to do. So, uh oh, there is going to be a portal opening up very soon. All right, blue. What do you got? I got something. So we're going to convert because that was that was mean what they did. I want at least second place, if not first. And I will go ahead and pick up two of these portal cards. So of course I'm gonna go for Arkham. Oh, Rockport. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll go for Rockport. Or I could be really mean and pick up, yeah, I will pick up one of these and start a, a green portal. Well, look at that. It didn't matter. I tried to hate draft and it didn't work. Okay. So those were my two actions. Um, I could probably, no, I don't want to spend anything. I want to save these. I'm going to save them. So let's go ahead and draw to the end of my turn. So this is going to go over to me. Let me check my cards real quick. Yeah, um, playing sane is probably my best bet. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's go ahead and play sane. I'm gonna move these down a little bit. Okay, we're good. All right, here we go. I'm gonna to try to gain some some of my investigators in Salem. That way, I get a chance on some of them points. So I'm gonna play this. That's gonna put two investigators wherever I want. So let's go ahead and do that. So here and. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're tied. Ooh. Okay. So none of these cards really help. I'm going to go ahead and play this. I'm going to put one more out. In Salem. I am now in the lead in Salem. And I'll get one of these. No, I'll get two of them. 
and I'm going to go ahead and use five to gain three points. And I will end my turn. Orange player, what are you going to do, Orange? You do, you do have some options here. You have some options. Um, you want to take back green because I know next turn, that's what you're going to do. You're, you're going to go all out and open that gate. So you're going to play this to put out an investigator. So we are currently tied. Ah, uh, oof. Do I want to do that? That would be, that's one turn. It's one turn. Yeah, I'll take the chance. So I'm going to go ahead and play this card, which is going to put out Investigator. So Orange is now in the lead for Salem. And we'll also get a Desperation token, which you guys cannot see because it's all in the bottom. And you know what? They're going to use two to draw two and discard two. Okay, not so good. Perfect. So discard this one, don't need it. Let's say you have to discard two. Draw two action cards in the deck, then discard any two. All right, yeah, you have to discard two. Um, oh man, I just drew that one too. Uh, let's go ahead and discard this. And then end my turn, drawing back up to five. All right, pretty good. Orange, I wonder what you're going to do. Hey, I'm just about to go to bed, but I saw you on Twitch, so I wanted to say hi. How are you? I am doing good. I am playing a game I just bought today. Learning it, sorry that was loud. Learning it on here. Um, I wanted this game for a long while, so I got excited when I got it. Especially since it was twenty percent off, I was like, "Yes, get it." Okay, here's what's gonna happen. Of course, we know green is gonna do. I mean. Orange is going to complete this green portal because they're going to be playing this. That is two portal cards. It's always fun to get a new game, especially of this kind. Yes, it is. Um, back in our old place, we didn't have a um, a Barnes and Noble close enough, but here. There is one that we've gone to quite often already. Okay, so here we go. The portal is complete. There's a completed portal. It looks really awesome. Really, really awesome. So when a portal is complete, all gameplay pauses. Uh, no actions could be taken at this point. Um, one of these guys is going to emerge from the portal. 
Um, it is 13 points. And it is creepy. I would not want to see that for real. They're going to emerge from the portal. Now, do we score that now or wait till later? Do we score it? The player opened the gate. Game is paused. In order to score that gate, score an open gate, carry out these four steps. Release a monstrosity. So the player who opened the gate collects the monstrosity disc from the top of the stack. Did that. Places it in the open gate. That player immediately scores the number of points shown on the monstrosity disc. Okay, so orange is going to get 13 points. Very nice. Um, if the collected monstrosity disc shows a scroll, which it does not, we do not reveal a scroll. Evaluate the region. Okay, Salem. This region has now opened a portal. Um, we're going to evaluate the region that corresponds to the open gate. Determine who has the most, second most, and third most in that region and rank players accordingly. Um, okay, so we all know who gets first place. So orange here gets seven. Uh, investigators here so they are going to score the nine points for this region so uh, 9 and 13 I believe is 22 um, I am second place with six points so six and three is nine and the neutral token goes away we take all our stuff back. All our guys come back. Come back. Going for double bypass, heart surgery in two weeks. Yeah, time roller. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. What was that? What just fell on the floor? That was weird. Did I lose a piece? Huh. No, that was not a piece. What was that? Well, that was weird. I don't know what that is. I don't know where that fell from. It was definitely not for me, right? I don't think it was. I'm worried now. Everything's going crazy. You guys heard that, right? You guys heard that, right? You heard pieces falling. It wasn't just me. Okay, I think I think I'm going crazy here. All right, so we still have. Um, Orange, orange's turn to go. Um, so I believe orange now is going to start collecting the runes. So these are going to be points. Yeah, we you guys heard it too, right? Yeah. I thought it was a game piece, but all of the game pieces are right here. There's nothing tiny here. 
There's no tiny game pieces anywhere. I'm not quite sure what fell out. I mean, it sounded like one of these. I don't know what they are, though. Unless I lost an earring. That may be what it, that may be what it is. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I think I might have lost my earring. I think that's what it was. I'll look for it after. That was weird. See, I told you. Weird stuff going on. Every time I play a casino game, there's always something weird going on. Okay. So, that was it for you, Orange. In the lead. Let's go ahead and grab two cards. You are done. Turquoise is up. B. We are playing insane. I have not enough to switch that disc back to sane. So I'm going to dominate Arkham by converting. Game room has a poltergeist. Get out while you can. Um. So I'm going to convert one of the orange, or yeah, to one of mine. And then I'm going to draw two of the gates. So I'm going to go for this one. So that's going to do that. So the game ends when the last of these gets put out. So four gates in total. Oh, look at that. I'll just go ahead and take that one. Okay. Uh-oh. Orange. Orange, I'm coming. Come and get you. We'll end my turn. Go ahead and draw two. Sweet. All right. What what do I play with? Let's see. Um, I feel like I need more points going. I need to get more points going here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and play sane. Yeah, there's not enough of those. Arkham cards out there for me to do anything with. So my first action, I am going to play this map. So let's go ahead and do, I, I cannot get these right. There we go. So I've only um, almost got a map complete. I just need one more corner, which I do not have. Um, however, I will play this lost page. Um, I have an eight and a nine. This is a 12. So I'm looking for a 10 and 11. Um, either way, it still points at the end of the game. And Going whoa, Dude, that is that is really bad. Well, that sucks to hear, Anne. Um, I feel for you, but yeah, sometimes you just have to let go to just let them, just let them see what their decisions. Or leading to, you know? Uh, okay, awesome. Yeah, if you ever need to talk or anything, you know, I'm here. 
Um, Insane. I don't have any tokens to switch that to insane mode. However, it is fine because orange is going to play a map also. So you almost have a map completed. And what do you have down there? Let's see. You will also play a lost page. And you will end your turn. Because you have nothing. Okay, so orange right now has we got some options. Um, I think they would like to start another portal, maybe. So yeah, the the portal with the highest points are is an Innsmouth, which requires seven cards to complete. So that that's. Yeah, orange is already ahead, so maybe they don't want to do that. Maybe they'll go for Rockport. Let, let's 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 go for Rockport. So we're gonna play insane. going on games are a good distraction for sure so okay I feel like orange is probably gonna do this they're gonna go for the conversion so they're going to convert the neutral token, which goes away. Now they are by themselves. They're going to go ahead and play this card to gain desperation token and pull a portal card. So I'm going to start another portal. Uh oh, another green. And that's it. I can't do anything else. This place is haunted. Okay, what am I going to do? I would like to try to finish this Arkham portal as soon as possible. So, I feel like I'm going to go ahead and play this to pull two. I'm going to pull the Arkham. Let's try to do that. So, we're at, we're at five. Oh, we didn't get it. Um, okay. Play this ruin or runes. So now this is a two point set right here. Two points. Not bad. I will end my turn by drawing two cards. Now, a big part of this game is also making sure that you don't get rid of cards that you need from one side.
So I think I've, I've done that already. All right, so I'm gonna play same. And I will play a map. So this completes one map. So that is ten, uh, 12 pointer right there for the end of the game. Um, I can start another map if I want to, or Yeah, let's go ahead and start on the map. I should probably start it on another side. So here's what I'm going to do. Since I have completed this map here, I will go ahead and take these cards and just put them to the side to make sure I do not discard them. And I will end my turn yet and draw two more. Okay. All right. I need one more Arkham card to finish this. Okay, Orange, what do you want to do? Do you have enough? Do you have anything to finish your map? No, you don't. Do you have anything to play? Yes. You can play this scroll. There's a lost page. So you've got a 3, a 19, and a 20. So you're doing good. And you will then play this card to put an investigator out and get two desperation tokens. Sorry if you guys are talking in chat and I am not reading it. But you guys talk amongst yourselves. I think I'm doing pretty good so far with the rules, learning this, keeping focus on who is whose turn it is and what's going on. Um, so I did take the desperation tokens did I put anybody out that's the thing I did not so I know that I know that blue is going for that Arkham gate so I know they can get it on the next turn so I'm gonna keep trying And all right, I'll end my turn. Right. Okay, good enough. All right, so orange, orange wants to play safe. They need to get more people out on that board here. So they're going to play Saint. Um, I believe I got rid of the map fragment that I needed earlier. That's why I said you have to pay attention to what you're playing because it has two sides to it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put another person out. So orange is going to put their player here to gain a desperation token. Um, he's going to use two to draw two and then discard two. Okay. Um, let me get rid of this one and oh man I 
the ice. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one. Okay. Okay, so we're tied there. Uh, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do? I think that just to be safe, you're going to go ahead and play this card to put another investigator out into the rock port, and you're going to get another token. And that's going to end your turn. Can you draw two? Ah. Uh, okay, was that the first play of the round? I, I have not lost. I can't remember. Can't remember if that was the, the first play of the round. I think it was. I think it was. I think I have to play now. It's still on the same section. No, it was it? No, no, it was. Yeah. Since he, since Orange picked Sane, they went first. Now I get to play my cards. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is play my map. I'm going for the whole map game here. The two bottom parts of the map. And I will try to regain control of Arkham. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. Play this guy out here. And get a desperation token. And that's it. That's good. And that's good. So So I want to I want to get I want to get this done. But uh, I yeah, I want to get it done. Because right now I'm in the lead in Arkham. So I'm going to play insane. And I am going to Yeah, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and play this card. That's going to get me one gate and two desperation tokens. So I'm at 4 now. So I will go ahead and take a green. Now I I need to start getting people on that green section here. Oh no, still not good. Uh, I think this is where I want to use my desperation tokens to refresh the gate supplies. So that's what I'm gonna do. Move all the cards, placing them at the bottom of the deck face down, yes. So I'm going to go ahead and use three to refresh all this. So this is all going to go on the bottom. And four more will come out. No, I don't need that one. Don't need that one either. Come on. No, come on. Ah, oh, man. Oh, that's not going to work. I still have one more action. Tell you what, I'm, I'm, 
I'm going to go for it. I'm going to top deck it. So there we go. I'm going to use these two. So I'm going to play two gate cards here. Um, there is no green. Uh, I can try for this orange one here. So you're not going to be able to see where I put it, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Once I get a gate done, I will move it out the way. So that will refresh that and let look at that. I got it anyway. So let's go ahead and take that. Place that right here. And another gate has been opened. Um, that was my second action, so I don't get to take any more actions after this, but we have to pause the game to do score now. So, another monstrosity emerges. This one has a scroll on it. So that one's going to come out. I'm going to get 14 points for that one. So, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, one away from orange. Um, there is a reveal a scroll. Okay. Now we get to choose either left or right. Um, I have not looked at these, so let's just go on the left here. Relics call. Each time you collect an ancient rune, you may dispatch one investigator. Cool. That's for everybody, by the way. That's a bonus for everybody. So it's 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 making the game a bit faster now. Um. Now we score here. So of course, blue here will get nine points for having the majority. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Scored that already, so let's go ahead and pull those guys off. Orange is second with six points, so 28. And purple leaves for good. That was a good turn. However, I do not get the bonus for that since my turns are over. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move this out the way. Somewhere down here. I still have a green gate running and now an orange gate. So that was that was my whole turn. So let's draw two cards. And that's it for me. Okay. Still playing insane, so Wait, I forgot to uh do this. There we go. All right. So I feel like let me make sure I'm not going to use my the wrong cards here because I don't want to get rid of some of these so that way I can fill the maps here. Uh, I, I do not have an ancient rune, otherwise, I could have put some investigator out. So let's go ahead and run with the two gates here. How do you prepare a space themed party? You plan it. Ha. Huh. That was a good one. Alright, blue. I'm gonna go ahead and take the blue one. I still have to take one more. Um, I will top deck it. Let's see what I get. Uh okay. Didn't want that. But that's fine. So this is gonna go down here. This is a completed one. So move these down. So that was my two. Um, 
tell you what, since I since I do have a white um, Innsmouth gate started, I'm going to go ahead and start. gaining some traction there. So I convert one of these guys who goes away to one of mine. Um, I do have three tokens. I don't want to do anything with those. So I will end my turn. Okay. What do you want to do, Orange? What are you playing? Do you... you got some good cards on the sane side here. You do have some good cards on the insane side. I feel like you want to get some more of your investigators out. So let's play on the sane side. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pull two investigators out here to Innsmouth. Well, we'll do one, and then um, since green has started also, I will go ahead and go to green. And I will also play this to play one more go here and I will get a desperate I will get two desperation tokens so I'm at five currently I could spend it to get three uh, I'm gonna hold on to it though I'm definitely gonna hold on to it I'm gonna end my turn okay good I need to go back to bed. Have a great evening, everyone. Have to catch you soon when I get back next week. Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, this is not a normal stream. I, I'm just doing this to do it. It's, you know, it's just for fun. And to learn a new game. What was I doing? Okay. Orange. I mean, blue. I don't know how you do this, Time Roller. I can't keep track of who's who anymore. Okay, so I see that green needs attention here. So let's go ahead and dispatch two of my guys to green. Okay, well, you guys can't see it, I know. But there are two of them over there. Um, and why do I not have this map piece for this? Um, you started on blue also, so I have to get on that. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to finish the white or Innsmouth portal in time. I could be wrong. However, I'm going to go ahead and put two more guys out. Um... Uh, try to, let's go ahead and secure green here. And I'll step into Rockport also. Um, I've only got one token, so I can't really do anything. So let's go ahead and end my turn. Okay. What do I want to do? Um, I can open some portals and put some guys out on my turn. So let's go ahead and play insane. Do it so first move I'm going to play a rune a rune you say yes because each time you collect an ancient rune you may dispatch one investigator that's exactly what I went for so let's go ahead and do that and um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some gates going. So I've got one gate and two desperation tokens for me. 
So let's go ahead and grab this Salem gate here. Oh no. Oh man. Ooh. I know there's no rule for having the same types of gates out here. At least I don't know if there is. I don't believe so. I don't think so. No, there isn't. I'm going to be the ruin of this world. I know. I know. Oh boy. So I, I did a boo boo here. Oh no. So I don't have enough, do I? Maybe I can clear refresh the gate supply. Yes. Yeah, so before I end my turn, let's do that. Spend three. You are not getting all those gates. There is no way you're going to get all of those gates. Move over, Cthulhu. No way. That looks better. Oh, that's not better. Okay. All right. I could deal with that. Better than having three of those Innsmouth cards out. Okay. That is ending my turn. Okay, that was close. That was close. And those dogs are outside again. I don't, I don't know how they do it. You know, you, if you leave your dogs outside, you know they bark at like 9.20 at night. On a weekday. To me, that's being an ass. I'm sorry. So since I put that out, I get to put an investigator out. Um... I need to gain a foothold here. Because I'm also going to play I don't need this card. I'm going to play this to construct two gates. So one Ooh, there's another Arkham, and then two. All right, one more gate for Rockport. And we will be in business, but there is no Rockport gate out, which is fine. Uh, you will end your turn. Okay. Oh, but it is your choice now. You you do have a you do have majority in Rockport. You need to get that gate going. Yeah. So you want to play insane. That's what you want to do. And before you play anything, you're going to spend three desperation tokens to wipe the gates. One, two, three, four. Four more. All right, you're not looking for that one. You're not looking for that, but that's good. No. Oh, no. It's okay. Fact is, you have two of those Innsmouth cards out there, so you you feel really confident. So here's what you're going to do. Your first action, take two gates. 
And of course, you're going to take that one. And then for your second gate, you're going to take that one. Okay, still no blue gates. Oh, okay. And I guess you don't really want to do any of that. But what you want to do is to convert. Conversion. You're going to remove one of my guys here. Place it with one of yours. And now we're even in Salem. Fancy. Oh, and you do have the you do have the map piece for here, so remember not to lose it. Okay. Ending your turn. Great. Um, playing insane. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play a, a room, which allows me to place a investigator out. Um, we're almost done with that blue. Yeah, let's let's go for blue. And I have no tokens. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be that butt and play a conversion also. I'm gonna convert one of your guys. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna convert one of your guys. To one of mine. And that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. Okay, so that's the end of the deck here. So before I continue, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick shuffle. No, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. The desperate actions are right here on the board. I'm looking in the book. Looking in the book. And they're right here in front of my face right here that's that's crazy i did not see that so in case you guys are wondering there are two sides to this board there is a two player board which is what this is and the other side is for a three plus so you know what's also weird is that this token is in the wrong spot. There we go. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so I think that was it for me. Yep, I took my turns. I did two actions, right? Yeah, I put that out, and what else did I do? I converted. Yep, okay, good. So based on what I have, um, I want to finish off that green portal, but I cannot. So I want to put out some more people, so I'm going to play Sane. Play some Sane. So I'm play two. Putting two guys out. Um, I'm running out of people. Uh, I'll do one more in Salem. And... Oh, man. I'll, I'll go ahead and take majority in Rock... Rockport. And... I guess just for giggles, I'm going to go ahead and play this. I'm going to get one investigator out and two desperation tokens. And let's just go ahead and start. Blue is good, green. 
good. Let's go ahead, go up here. Um, I'm gonna end my turn. All right. So I've only got one investigator left for my side, so I got to be careful. Okay. You are going to play your last map section here. So you have a completed map. Oh, no, you don't. That's the wrong one. This is the right one. That is your completed map section right there. You have a completed map. So you are getting some points at the end of the game, sir. Um, you have three more people. So what you want to do is to play this to get an investigator out and to desperation tokens so you're up to four so you can keep that to flip your the san the uh sanity disc you know what you're doing um you want to take back rockwood so now it is tied there you don't want me to have it go ahead and draw Okay. So that is it for you. What are you going to choose? I don't know why I keep putting my hand down. You want to, yeah, I think that's what you want to do. You want to play insane. First thing you want to do is to convert. You're going to convert. I think what you want to do is take one of my guys out of here and put one of yours. Now you have to draw just one blue card, which is what I think you're going for because you're going to be spending three to refresh the gate supply. So you're going to spend three. Gates go bye bye. Get four more. Oh, there we go. There we go. Wow. Second action, of course, we all know what you're going to do. You're going to go ahead and play this to take a gate and two desperation tokens. You are going to go ahead and take this. And complete the third gate. So you are going to get 12 points. So 12 and 28 is 40. You're at the 40 point mark here. Uh, we're going to release the scroll here gate crafter at the at game end the player with the most incomplete gates scores five points okay um that that is me right now five points okay you can deal with that um now we score for the region so blue of course orange is going to get eight points for that region so they're going to get the 40 point mark so i'm just going to go ahead and set that there so they're at 48 And take back their stuff. Um, I will only get five. So
so so we have 38. Not doing so good. I do get those extra five points at the end of the game, though. All right, Orange, that is that is all for you, man. That is it. We're gonna end your turn by drawing cards. Game is almost over. If you can get that Innsmouth gate open, I mean, that's it. So I better start working on that. So I have to play insane. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and play the conversion card. Convert one of yours into one of mine. It's a race for Innsmouth now. And then I'm gonna play my rune. So, one, two, three, four, five. I've got five runes. So that's 16 points for this set. And I will, since the relics call is active, I will go ahead and place my investigator there. So I have majority there now. Um, oh, go ahead, end my turn. Wait, no. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Oh boy. One more. One more gate. Okay. Now, if I can close this green one, then it would be game over. However, I do not have any greens out. I do not have enough to put any out. So, let's try. It. Let's let's try. It. Go ahead, play this. Put out an investigator. Um, just in case I don't get Salem, I'm gonna go ahead and go here. And I'll get two more of these desperation tokens. Man, this let's go ahead and wipe these gates. So I'm spend three to wipe these gates out. They weren't the right ones. There we go. Uh, man, I only got the one. Okay, it's fine. I'll go ahead and play the two to get two gates. I'm going to go ahead and take this green one. And might as well take the orange. Okay, so I've got an orange one going. Uh, nobody's over there though. But we'll see. So that's that's all I'm gonna do. I have to refresh that gate real quick. So that was it for for that round. So I I've only got two investigators to put out. So let's go ahead and play same. I'm gonna play this to 
put one investigator out and get two desperation tokens. Um, green's good. I'm bleeding in, in Smith. I uh, might as well go for orange here. And then I will, who? I'll play another one. Put out my last people, my investigator in Kingsport, and gain a desperation token. And that's it. Oh man, these cards are getting brutal here. I'm not getting what I really want. I'm not getting, ooh, no, that'll work. Okay. You have to play sane now. What are you gonna do? You need to make some points here. You really need to get some points going. Uh, you're gonna play a lost page. Now you've got three, four, nineteen, and twenty. So you're you're racking up those points for the pages too. Each consecutive page is four points. Every other one is going to be two points. So basically, I've got four cards worth four points each. If I read the rule right, I believe that's how it works. They do give some really good examples in it. Uh, I've got three. What can I do? I can't flip the sanity disc. You know what? Go ahead and play another page. Yeah, that sounds good. And I'll go ahead and draw them. Okay. Orange, what do you want to play? What do you want to do? You need to get a foothold in Innsmouth. You might be able to get it finished. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to play insane. You're going to convert. You're going to play a conversion. You're going to get rid of one of my guys. Put one of yours out. Now you're tied. And huh. Yeah, I think I think you want to play one of these. Two gates. So you're gonna take the Innsmouth. So you have four, you need three more. And of course another one comes out. So, for your second gate, you're going to go ahead and take that one. Wow. Well, look at that. Oh, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> you're going to end your turn with that. Oh, jeez. You got all the good ones coming out. Oh, jeez. Okay, playing insane. I can flip this over if I really want to. Um, I I I could end this with a green gate. I need to get the gates, so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh. Spend three. Get rid of all these. I'm looking for the Salem gates. Because if I can do that, the game will end. I will at least have a chance at winning. So let's see what happens. There we go. That's one. Oh, come on. Nope. Not what I was looking for. 
Okay. All right. All right. I think I, I think I got it. Uh, let's go ahead and play two gates. Let's go for the gates. So I'm gonna take the green. We need one more. Oh, that was not it. What happens if you pull a gate that you've already completed? You can complete multiple gates, I believe. Um, choose one or two gate cards and the card you play and place them in your own play area, either adding them to existing gates or starting new ones. If you choose a gate card, you must choose one of the four cards from the face up gate display or the top card of the face down deck. Refill the gate supply immediately by drawing the top card of the gate deck and placing it in the slot face up. Uh, each time the gate requires a specific number of cards, we know that. Okay. So. I believe there was a, a there was a, a thing on here that said something about you're you're limited to how many gates you have. Like you're you're not allowed to play. You're not allowed to have two open gates of the same kind. I believe. I just don't see where that is, though. Yeah, I don't know where it is. I know I read it because I was like, okay. I mean, that makes sense. But I don't know where it is. So I want to make sure I'm playing it right. Could have swore I read it from somewhere, I just don't know where. Oh, you may only have one gate of each type in progress at a time. So you can finish a gate and start a new one. Got it. So I already have a green gate going. So I can't build another green gate. Um, so I'll go ahead and take an orange because I did have two gates to build. Uh oh, not the card I want to see. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and put out another rune. So I'm gonna go ahead and start another set. So this is five. I'm gonna put this here, start another set. Since I have the rune out, I'm gonna go ahead and place this out here. Since I'm pretty sure he's gonna start building that white gate there. I'm going to end my turn. Okay, so what do I want to play? I think what I want to do is get these gates done with. So I'm going to take a chance to play insane. Go ahead and 
go ahead open the gate and take two desperation tokens so let's go ahead and take the insmith away from you so that's going to go with me oh is it the blue i'm going to spend three i still have one action left to refresh the supply I'm looking for a green. If I can get a green, the game will be over. Let's see. Nope. There we go. I got it. Game's over. Second action. I will go ahead and just pull two gate cards. So. I'm not going to get to pull two gate cards. I'm just going to pull one because now that the gate is open, the game ends. I will get 15 points. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 15. I have gone over 40. Uh, we're going to go ahead and score. Yep, because we've got all of these out already. We're going to score. So I get nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Orange gets six. And it matters how many, how many people you have out left. Um, okay, so we go to end game score now. Okay, so we're going to score There's so much information in here. Uh, investigators on the map. So you get one point per investigator still on the map. So for, let's go orange, so there's three points. One, two, three. For me, I get four, five, six, so 28. The purple does not count. Scroll card effects. Game end, the player with the most incomplete gates scores five points. So orange has one, I have two, so I get an extra five. One, two, three, four, five. Runes. So I have a set of five. So that's 16 plus one, because I have one left over as a new set. So, 17. Seventeen, and I am over 80 points. You only have two. You did not do well on that one. Lost pages. So each consecutive page is worth four points, and each non consecutive page is worth two points. So if I get this right, um, I have a one, three, four, 19, and 20. So that one is only two points. A three and four is four points each, and 19 and 20 are four points each. I believe that's how it works. Um, there is. I believe there's an explanation in here with pictures, which is good. But I, I believe that's how it works. Um, pages whose numbers are next to each other in numerical sequence are worth four points each. 
that's all it says. It doesn't really say it has to be all in numeric order. At least that's how I'm going to play it. I think that's that's the way it goes. So we'll do it that way. So that's two points plus uh, you get 18 points for those pages. You have, you have four cards worth four points and one worth two. So 18 for orange. So, one, three. I've got eight, nine, and twelve. So four, four, eight, so ten. I think I, I think I'm gonna win. I think I'm gonna win. Map fragments. Each complete map is worth twelve points. Each other map fragment is worth two points. Okay. So you have a complete set. So for you, that's twelve points. So twelve, and you go past eighty. Cool. I have a complete set, so that's twelve. So it's thirty-two plus two more, which is four points. So thirty-six. And I believe that's it. So I'm clearly the winner. <laughs> I clearly won. So that's pretty much the game. That's that's how I remember it. Um, cool looking map. Cool looking pieces. I mean, that's pretty much Cthulhu right there. Each player marker has a different piece so that's pretty cool and especially with the investigators also so this guy's holding a torch this is just I don't know it's just an investigator so it's all pretty good um, I like the way these cards create portals I mean it looks the card effect is really cool on this and it's really awesome um, it's got a little bit of uh, Ticket to Ride and uh, Small World mixed in, like game mechanic wise. Um, card collecting, set collecting, stuff like that. It's it's all it all works well in this. Um, I'm starting to enjoy um, these types of games more and more where you have to have the majority or um in an area like a conquest sort of thing so it's really cool i like it and i'll probably end up playing it with laura maybe i don't know or i could just play by myself again and win because <laughs> this is the only time i'm ever going to win if i play with one myself and i tried to play as As both players like I tried to win as orange and I tried to win as blue but me personally I was blue because blue was the winner I know that sounds difficult for me to do but I did it so that's it I really like this game I'm happy I picked it up I'm happy we had a, a guy's day out buying games looking at games looking at books eating pretzels um 